Amid the sea of new releases that we've been talking about over the past couple of weeks, amongst the fury of all of the well-known and established bands that we've known over the past couple of years that we have talked about, a potential stalwart is in the mix. There's a band out there that I might be introducing some of you to for the very first time. For others, this is a band name that you have known and known very well for the past couple of years. And that is going to be Bilocate with their 2012 album, Summoning the Bygones. Now, this is kind of one of those bands that gets a lot of talk, but at the same time, a lot of people, the circulation of the talk doesn't necessarily have a very far reach, which is kind of sad. This is a band from Jordan, which course, as you know, is over in the Middle Eastern region, kind of on the, uh, the, the the extreme fringe of Europe. And this is an album that combines three different things. It combines doom metal, it combines death metal, and it combines what some people would call as oriental metal. A new idea that seems to be sweeping, or could be potentially sweeping in the next couple of years, the newer metal genres. Uh, from Europe and Abound, something that probably won't catch on here in America except for maybe a choice band or two. And what this idea really circulates around is this. This is the band that's able to accomplish terrific doom metal. They're able to keep the pace at a slow pace whenever they need to, but their, com uh, their combinations of uh, the deathier styles, the little bit more aggressive styles, a little bit more aggro style, uh, mixed in with oriental themes. By oriental themes, that can mean anything from instrumentalization. It could also mean uh, in, in the way in which the construction of the uh, of the music is, uh, how it's done. Uh, it's something that will definitely kind of harken you back to the Far East a little bit, even though this band is not from the Far East. In fact, in some locations, you may actually think that these guys are not actually from the country of Jordan, but they are. And this album has many, many strong qualities that perhaps make it a qualifier and a potential spoiler for somebody come December. This album is a lengthy affair, I won't lie. There are tracks that range anywhere in length from 4 minutes all the way up to 9 and 10 minutes. However, the combination that you have existing here within this band, the elements in which they have brought together into this mix are what make this release extremely interesting. Not to mention very hard to put down. It's very difficult to stop listening to this album because the ideas that they construct, the ideas that are reflected to you uh, in musical form are very similar some point, at some points. However, it's the way in which they are represented that is kind of the strange part. That's the part that keeps you engaged, that keeps you, you know, listening further because you want to know how... Uh, how, are they going, how are they going to do it? You know, you kind of know what's going on. You kind of understand that the longer tracks are going to have a very heavy, doom-laden sound. They're going to be slower paced. They're going to have a little bit more uh, 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 of a crunch to them. But you want to know how. You want to know where the twinge is because this is full of great melody. The riffs are all fantastically done. You are very much mesmerized by uh, uh, both the vocals and the music combined. And overall, the body of this album is just excellent. There are many, many different themes that you can see centered within here. However, the most important theme is not even within the music, and that's the fact this is a band that has to face uh, savage repercussions and a lot of hate from the government inside their own region. And that's something that is unfortunate for uh, by Locate and unfortunate for the region because this is a band that has a ton of talent. And the talent has been recognized on an international level by websites, by magazines, by fans, by anything and anybody. The fan base of this band has certainly grown throughout the past couple of years, and I feel that with this album that fan base is only going to continue to grow in leaps and bounds. It's going to continue to double and then triple in size almost daily. As people continue to really explore the metal universe and discover this band, I think they're going to be even more impressed. Now, a lot of people said that I was uh, kind of unfair in my review of Pilgrim, their album Misery Wizard, calling it boring, whenever. And a lot of people, I think, really felt that I was just really down on the whole Doom genre. Well, if you need an album that's really going to show you that that's not the case, that that album is just really blasé as compared to something else, this is your album. This is the album where you can tell that the doom metal genre is not something that I hate. This is a genre that I, in fact, you know, really kind of enjoy. 
Bands such as Bilocate that are able to keep my interest level, not to mention also are able to uh, create very inspiring, and not in that whole hide hail Jesus way, you know, they're very inspiring and very well-constructed music, you know, interesting music, are the bands that are going to be able to maintain my attention and are going to be able to maintain a lot of people's attention. And this is a strong example as to how a band is able to maintain focus on their music. You don't feel distracted by the story, even after you read it, about the oppression and everything like that. Instead, you're focused on this world that has been constructed by the music in which they've created. This oriental, deathy doom metal that they have created. And you're just transfixed. You, you take the elements of Deer and Grey and you combine them with bands such as Forgotten Tomb, uh, with a little bit of a Candle Mass and Solitude Etiernus Chaser. Uh, you throw in death metal vocals and you have yourself one to hell of a Dagwood sandwich of doom metal. I really like this album. I either think that these guys have a lot of talent. They boast a lot of potential. And I look forward to talking about them in the future. But for right now, with this album right here, an 8.5 out of 10 is definitely fair and justified. Maintenance of my attention, a very unique idea, something that I've always stressed, and overall just an engaging and interesting album. What more could I really want? Maybe for them to uh, come over here and tour, but uh, baby steps.